Welcome back to my channel. My name is Grant. Not too long ago, I purchased a 1978 Irwin Mark III sailboat. It's uh, 37 foot, a man is a project. Today, what I'm doing is working on a extra engine or a new to me engine. It came out of the same year, make and model as my sailboat. Uh, bought it from JC Marine out of Boston, Massachusetts. Uh, hey Joe, if you're watching this. Anyway, uh, let me show you what I got going on here. All right, so before Joe sent me the engine, he replaced, um, or had the injectors rebuilt. He's had the fuel pump rebuilt, new solenoid rebuilt starter. Um, I think he ran the overhead or the valves, well, maybe not, I'm not sure. And some miscellaneous other things. What I've been doing recently is, if you look at here, I have a new water temp temperature sender, and this is going to be for a high water temp alarm. I have a new oil pressure sending unit, again for my gauges. And if you look back in here, this is going to be for a low oil pressure alarm. So I've been doing some rewiring on the boat, or I'm sorry, on this engine. I have replaced or re Teflon taped most all of the fittings I can find for coolant. Uh, I put extension hose here on uh, the peacock for the uh, antifreeze. I'm going to replace the uh, fuel and oil filters shortly. I have to replace this bell housing. I'm going to use my bell housing because it matches up with my transmission um, from this point here, right here on back. Uh, it's different, but from this point on forward, everything's the same. And then my transmission will build up to my bolt housing and then my prop shaft length will not have to change in any way, shape or form. Um, as you can see, I got some fuel on here ready. I'm getting ready to uh, run it uh, on the stand here or on this dolly here. So I'll have to get a uh, return line, but uh, I'm gonna run it here on the stand and see if there's any leaks I need to take care of before we get it going. But this is it. Uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I think this will be a great little engine. Joe told me a little bit about uh, the guy who had this boat or engine before me and uh, kind of excited about it. I think it'll do me good. If you're having problems with your boat overheating um, and you check your sea strainer and that seems to be fine but if you run your boat for a while and it starts uh, heating up or getting hot Here's what you may want to do. You want to use Barnacle Buster. Let me show you. So here it is, Barnacle Buster. Marine Goat Growth Remover. It's pre-mixed. It's non-toxic, biodegradable, and it's safe. Here's a couple of before and afters. So what you want to do is you want to run Barnacle Buster through your cooling system, your fresh or your raw, raw water cooling system. Um, this will help remove growth and calcium and stuff inside and I'll show you that. First thing you want to do is remove the four screws for the impeller cover for your fresh water um, intake or water pump. So after you get the cover off, you can take a screwdriver like I did here or a pair of needle nose pliers and remove the rubber impeller. This is also a good time to replace the impeller. Keep, keep or get a new backup and then look for any missing pieces that may be right inside there. So there's a couple ways of doing this. Um, I chose the easy way but sometimes easy means a bit more expensive. 
Here I have Porto Flush Junior. This is a marine product. You could probably make this yourself. All it is is a bilge pump. Down here comes out to a valve. This valve goes through, or the water goes through here into the intake where your raw water pump circulates through the engine, comes out. Normally this pipe would go to my exhaust right here and go out my uh, exhaust. But you take the fitting off here and then this returns back into the bucket. It's 12 volt. There's two different uh, types of systems. One's a 12 volt, one's a 110. I chose a 110 so I can use it on my boat without shore power or a converter. Um, so in the kit comes the bucket, the pump, the shutoff valves, the two blue hoses that you see, and some miscellaneous fittings, and then a lid so everything can stay uh, inside the bucket you can keep on your boat and let uh, your buddies use it, you use it whenever you need it. Um, so I've already put one gallon of barnacle buster in there. And I ran it for a little bit, I had a leak, so then I added two more gallons of water. And let me show you what it looks like when it's uh, working properly. Alright, you can already see it's changed colors. And you just want to fill this, so I got, to, again, two gallons of water, one gallon of barnacle buster. And this is what you, this is where the level you want the water flow, you want to see it coming out. So I'm only three gallons in for this small engine. You see, you see this is clear, this is the stuff going in. It's circulating through, coming through here, it's returning back to the bucket. So I'll do a before and after picture here, but I can already see it uh, changing colors already. And that's only been like three minutes. I got the uh, the bucket kit online. Uh, I'm not sure if it went through Amazon, which I buy a lot of stuff through Amazon, or I may have gone through James Jamestown Distributing. I get a lot of stuff through them. They're a great company. Uh, I sometimes buy stuff through West Marine, but even though there's a West Marine store in Portland, um, West Marine is taking about a week longer to deliver the same type of thing than Jamestown Distributing. So, I'm not sure if that works out for you or how it works out for you, but um, again, I'm on the West Coast. Jamestown is on the East Coast. They seem to be doing a little bit better job than West Marine for me. It's about 15 minutes in, and I can already see sand or calcium type um, material on the bottom of the bucket. Go ahead and take a look. I don't know if you can see right here or not. a little darker. We'll do, do another review after uh, four hours. Well, it's been four hours. Let's take a look what we got. It isn't as dark as I hoped it would be or cloudy, but there's quite a bit of sediment uh, in the bottom. That's a good thing. Uh, I'm not going to go any more than four hours. That's what I recall uh, the recommended time was. But that's about it, it's just time to clean up now. I got the quick disconnects here. Clamp there, clamp in the back. And more disc quick disconnects. Unplug the battery. Uh, dump this stuff in a safe spot. Put everything inside the bucket, and I'm done. Again, this is the Port Old Flush Junior with a one gallon jug, a uh, barnacle buster. Hopefully this helps with your cooling issues or uh, just yearly uh, maintenance. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, like, and make a comment. I'd really appreciate that. Thanks for watching.